Guys, welcome back to another episode of Main Street Mower. Today I have a short little segment for you. And honestly, it's a hard thing to talk about because I love Toro, right? I, I, I joke that I have a Toro tattooed across my lower back in big red letters. Even my stamp. Um, I love Toro, right? They're a fantastic brand. I love their products. But with every beautiful relationship, with every amazing creation, there's always, you know, some con, some downside, some little element that I wish they would tweak that could make it even better. The next level, the mountain, the Everest, right? And for me, I'm always talking so highly. I love recommending the Toro Time Cutter. Um, I'm talking specifically the smaller models, the small frame, the 42 inch, the 34 inch and the 32 inch. They all come with a specific front tire. Here it is, it's the front tire that comes standard on these. I still recommend these mowers, I still recommend this product, but I'm going to just give you a heads up. As I'm recommending them, there is one feature that I do not like. Let me tell you why I don't like it and I, I'm gonna tell you that there is a solution. There's hope, so stay tuned. There's, there's hope at the end of this video on what you can do for this problem because what these tires are notorious for doing is going flat, which is exactly what you don't want a tire to do. This tire has a tube in it. I don't know why they did that. That is so frustrating. A tubed tire is every mower shop's arch nemesis. Putting tubes in tires is the worst thing you could do. Toro, every other brand, every mower, forever and ever, don't put tubes in tires, okay? Yes, you might be able to salvage a tire with a slice in it and put a tube in it and it would keep air, but you get one thorn in a tube and bam, you gotta take the tire off again. Patch the thorn hole instead of putting a plug in it. I like to be able to plug tires. That is how my shop likes to do it. That's how I like to do it. It's just so much easier. It's easier to build for, easier to understand, easier to predict that it's going to work. If I get a thorn in this tire, I gotta remove this tire from this little tiny soft metal rim. I have to go inside and either replace the tube or plug the tube. These rims are too small to really go on any kind of tire machine, so you gotta do it all with spoons or screwdrivers, and the chance of you popping that tube again are like 300%. Like, it takes two to three tubes to get one back in a tire without popping it. And you guys might comment, Chip, you just stink at it. Maybe you are just bad at it. And maybe I am, but it shouldn't be that hard, right? If I get a hole, I should just bloop, bloop, plug it, bam, I'm done, right? And so the question is, Chip, why don't you just put a tubeless valve stem on this tire and put the tire back on and plug it. And I would love to do that. That would be a wonderful solution that I think would be great. But the way this rim is made is it's actually made for tubes and it has a weird shaped lip and it doesn't hold pressure well. So basically you fill it up with air, the customer leaves and guaranteed one week later, they come back and the tire's flat. So Toro, please work on this solution for me. It is really driving me nuts. The nice thing is it's a pretty rigid tire. You can drive with it flat. Honestly, this one's sitting in my showroom right now and it's kind of flat. I'm sure uh, most of you out there who have one of these have had this problem. Guys, if this is something you've experienced, please leave a comment in the uh, description below because it helps Toro see, they follow our channel, it helps Toro see that this is a problem and it'll help them come up with a solution quicker. There is a solution, Toro hasn't come up with one yet, but there's an aftermarket wheel option. This is a rotary tire, we sell them here. It is a part number 15087 and it is a solid rubber tire. Will not go flat ever. There is no air inside of here and it matches up perfectly. It fits in perfectly. The bolt unthreads, slides in there. The spacer slides in there, right? That's the original grease. Slides in just like this. Whoop. You put your nut on. It is that easy. You're just going to need two three quarter inch or 19 mil and it comes on and off that simple and this does solve your problem. You know, you don't need treaded tires on the front. I guess this particular manufacturer just had a mold with tread because these are a swivel wheel and swivels don't need tread, right? When it's swiveling, you don't want it really to grab. You want it to just slide, but it doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't tear up your grass and these last a really long time. If you replace these on your time cutter, you're never gonna have a flat tire again and it does decrease your ride comfort a little bit. You'll hear a little more thunky thunky but it won't go flat, and so every time you go out there, you're ready to mow. I would love for Toro to make their own version of this tire, a better version of this tire, because even this leaves something to be desired, but it does solve the problem for now. So if you comment, I've had this problem, I wish Toro would fix it, that would be awesome, and maybe we can get a great new solution for our tire problem. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more helpful tips, and please comment. It's a big deal. Come on, check it out.